I'm here in beautiful Tunkari, uh, or Foster Tunkari. Uh, it's a twin towns on the northern coast of New South Wales. You can see behind me uh, here the bridge. That bridge was made about 60 years ago and joined Foster and Tunkari. Tunkari was known as North Foster for a while and uh, the only way between the two, between Foster and Tunkari was by, uh, for, for a car, was by a ferry and that took about 30 minutes. So getting that bridge put in 60 years ago was a pretty major uh, event for, for the region. Today we're opening up uh, the Balvini Madeira cask, 21 year old. So this was aged for about 20 years in uh, standard oak casks and then finished off in Madeira casks. Madeira casks uh, are, are basically casks that were used to make um, Madeira sherry or a fortified wine um, and so what's happened is that as it says here this rare single malt was aged exclusively in traditional oak whiskey casks for more than two decades before being transferred for a further period of maturation in casks previously used in the production of fortified Madeira wine. It was sampled regularly by David Stewart, the Balvini ma malt master, to ensure that just the right amount of character is imparted by the Madeira cask. So yeah, it's, uh, it's sounding pretty nice. I bought this uh, duty free. Um, what else can I tell you? Extra maturity Madeira casks to create a single malt characterized by vanilla, oak and honey, finishing with a luscious layer of spice, which is sounding pretty good. Um, so the Balvini distilled at the Balvini Distillery, Banffshire, Scotland. Interesting thing about Balvini, uh, they grow their own um, grain, um, they malt it themselves, they age it, they, everything's done by them, so it's uh, exclusively theirs. A couple of other little things on the uh, side of the case. Um, there's a picture here, uh, Rosa Mandoni, the wild rose, is a rare endemic species found high up amid the humid areas of Madeira. This climbing shrub has large white flowers and blooms from April to August. And on the other side here, using the Cantero process, the highest quality Madeira wines are left to age under the heat of the sun, imparting intense flavours to the liquid and creating unique and highly sought after oak casks. Um, so the case uh, it's just got a, a magnetic lock, so uh, the bottle's not going to fall out. That being said, um, there's nothing once you've opened it to stop the bottle falling out, which to me is a, always a bit of an issue because you get somebody excited opening a, ca a, a box and uh, then all of a sudden the contents falls out. Um, packed rather nicely, you can see it's come wrapped in um, tissue paper, so we'll uh, take that off. And you can see that lovely, uh, that lovely colour. Um, certainly has the colour of something that's been finished in a, in a Madeira cask. Um, the Balvini Distillery has been owned by the same independent family company for five generations. Nowhere else will you find a distillery that still grows its own barley, that still malts its own, on its own traditional floor maltings, still has coopers to tend the casks and a coppersmith to tend the stills. Uh, characterised by familiar Bavini, vanilla, honey and spice. 40% uh, alcohol. Um, long maturation in traditional whisky casks. Lends familiar oak, honey and vanilla notes to the Balvini. While the final period spent in Madeira wine casks adds layers of rich spice. Okay, um, so it's sealed with a, uh, a metal seal, so let's get this open, or a foil seal. And it's a cork seal, so we'll get that off completely. Established 1892. Okay. Mm. 
definitely got that uh, sweet fruitiness on the nose. Yep, so the vanilla's there. Very sort of flowery, very, yeah, very nice. Kind of a, a echoes of jasmine in it. Nice spiciness in the mouth. Or a nice strong sort of toffee toffee finish. That's quite nice actually. I was expecting it to be a, a bit simpler than it was, but that's um that's very good. Let's go again. So having had a mouthful the, the florals sort of faded a little bit on the nose. Maybe a little bit more of the oakiness is coming through. And the spice kind of blossoms in the back of your mouth and then just fades away to leave a sort of warm oaky toffee kind of finish. Hmm. I think I'm going to enjoy this one, it's quite nice. Cheers.